All right. Welcome to our virtual English Equestrian Discovery Day. Um, I, my name is Brandon, uh, Brandon Morin, and I am one of the admissions counselors for the Equestrian and Animal Science programs here at Finley. Um, so I'm going to be kind of doing some introductions and you are going to hear from our English Equestrian faculty. Um, so Mary Marsh, the Director of Equine Studies and Equine Management is going to be chatting with you as well as Rusty Miller, the Director of English Equestrian Studies. We are gonna wait just a few minutes to let everybody get logged on. Um, we do apologize that you weren't able to come in person on campus today, um, but we really appreciate you logging on and we encourage you to sign up for a private visit on our website. So make sure you go on to our live calendar, pick a day that works for you and we'll set up a private visit that you know, you'll get a lot out of that. We'll make sure you get to the farms and meet with faculty members. Um, and chat with your counselor. So um, please do that. Um, so throughout the session, you guys can ask questions using the Q&A part of Zoom. Um, don't put your questions in the chat. Make sure that you're using the Q&A area. Um, you know, we will have time at the end of each session to answer questions. Um, so you can, you know, as you think of them, just drop them in there. Um, but let's move to the chat for a second, and I want to know where you're all coming from. So drop in the chat where you're coming from. Rhode Island, Jersey. Okay, Fremont. To say, are you all from Rhode Island in New Jersey? Wellington, upstate New York. <clears throat> Twinsburg. Oh, and Kelsey, you're in Wellington, Ohio. When I saw Wellington, I thought Florida. That's probably warmer down there, Wellington, Florida. Twinsburg. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you guys didn't get to see the animal science or the Western equestrian session, we will be posting those. Um, at the end of this session, you are gonna be receiving an email. Um, in that email will be a English farm tour. Um, and also in that email will be a Google form where you guys can actually sign up um, to get a t-shirt. So just fill out your information and we'll make sure to send you a t-shirt and some goodies and stuff. So. Um, thank you for joining us. I think I don't see anybody else trickling in. So I think we're going to move on and open the door for Mary Marsh and Rusty Miller. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Marsh. Like Brandon mentioned, I'm the director of the Equestrian Studies and Equine Management Department here at the University of Finley. And I'm with Rusty Miller, who is the director of the English Writing Program. Um, Rusty and I are both graduates of the equestrian programs here at Finley, so we can give you our perspectives as directors. We also both teach in the programs. I'm an instructor at the Western um, program, and Rusty's an instructor here at the English program. And we can also relate to you as prospective students and hopefully eventual equestrian students as well. So the equestrian department here at Finley, we consist of three programs of study. We have the equestrian studies with the English training emphasis, Equestrian Studies with Western Training Emphasis, and the Equine Business Management um, major. Um, within those three programs of studies, we offer Bachelor of Science degrees in Equestrian Studies, English or Western, and, and or Western, and Equine Business Management. And we also offer Associate's degrees in the English and the Western Equestrian Studies. The Bachelor's of Science <laughs> degrees are four-year degrees, and the Associate's degree can be done in two years. So. The majority of our students, equestrian students, do double major. The most popular double major for equestrian studies students is within our own department with the equine business management. So the equine business management major is a great way for students to have coursework that's equine industry related and also providing some business background. Students in that major take accounting, principles of management, they take business communications, they have the option of taking business law or equine law. And those courses really give our students a strong background in business as they look at starting their own business in the equine industry. All three programs of study have the same um, set of core classes and they're a science-based course. So all equestrian students take Intro to Equine Science, 
they take horse judging. If it's an English equestrian, they take English horse judging and Western equestrians take Western horse judging. Um, all equestrian students take equine nutrition and equine reproduction. And we really believe that it's important for all of our students to have foundational knowledge in those areas. So that, that's why that core is required for all of our programs of study. Um, in addition to our core classes, we do have an equestrian elective requirement where our students need to take 12 hours of equine elective credit. And we offer a, a really large selection of equine electives, um, over 40 classes that we offer for students to choose their four classes for that requirement. And we like to offer a wide variety of classes for that because it gives our students the chance to really tailor their education towards their areas of interest. So if a student is interested in learning how to be um, a riding instructor, they can take the teaching class. We actually offer two different teaching classes, one in the fall and one in the spring. Um, or if a student is interested in learning about therapeutic riding, we have an equine elective called Intro to Equine Assisted Therapies, that's EQSD 103. Um, and that's a very popular elective for students who are interested in getting into that, that kind of work. Similarly, students that are interested in nutrition can take advanced nutrition. Um, students interested in reproduction can take reproductive techniques. So those are just some examples of ways that students can really explore their areas of interest in a lot more depth than the introductory courses. So since you're watching this segment, you're interested in English equestrian studies, and we're here at the English farm, you can see the arena is behind us with the beautiful jump course set up. Um, we have a, our riding programs, both English and Western, are notably intense. Our students ride five days a week um, for three to four hours a day of class time. And many, stu many times students will actually ride additional hours outside of class as well. So students that are in our riding programs really get a lot of riding experience. They ride multiple horses, um, sometimes multiple horses in the same semester, depending on the year that the student is in. And we have a really high caliber, very, um, very nice horse herd that we own as a university that we're very proud of. So may maybe Rusty can go in a little bit more depth on um, some English writing program specifics. So any of you that had watched earlier, our freshman year is structured very similarly, similar to the Western farm. Um, you are assigned a horse at the beginning of the semester and generally you will ride that same horse all the way through the semester. Um, with incoming freshmen, we have all different levels of riders. So our program over here is broke down to advanced, intermediate, and beginners. For example, this semester we had a student coming in jumping a meter 20. We had another student that came in that had never been over a ground pole and had never cantered. The beauty of this program is that student that came in not knowing how to canter by their senior year is generally at the same level as the student that came in jumping a meter 20. This is a type of program that you get out of it, what you put into it. And with this program riding five days a week, having the ability to ride in the evenings and the weekends, you really do have the ability to advance yourself if you so choose. Um, in our freshman year, we do a lot of begin basic dressage um, you are exposed to eventing, hunter jumper, and the jumpers. Um, like Mary had said, we ride five days a week. You're here at the barn from 2 to 5.30 every day. Within that time period, you ride, clean your stall, turn your horse out, um, attend lecture and demo. Um, Participate in feeding and the other barn management related work? Uh, yes, and also... <clears throat> Uh, the freshmen feed in the afternoons, and then when I get into sophomores, sophomores feed in the morning. Um, but given uh, a lot of students that do come in with not a lot of barn management experience, you definitely uh, pick up these, uh, these different uh, traits. Um, so going into your sophomore year, um, as at the Western Farm, you are required at least one semester at the English farm to break a unbroke or take a green horse and teach it how to jump. <clears throat> the beauty of the equestrian program here, you also have the ability, if you are a student here at the English farm, you can go over to the Western farm also and if you so choose, 
and break a cult over there. Um, a lot of students do it just to have the experience of the Western world besides just the hunter jumper world. <coughs> you have the ability also if you have, if we have the horses available and if you have the time available that you can ride a colt at this farm plus a made jumping horse. And that is also kind of if we have the horses available at the time. Um, we feel here that the only way that you really make a good living in the university or out in the horse world is that you have the ability to develop and train and resell young horses. So it is a very big part of our curriculum at, of course, at both farms. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Most of the students on through their junior and senior year, if, they're, um, if they have enough time available, have continued on and taken a greener unbroke on top of their other riding horses. Because as they get into their junior and senior years, a lot of them are riding three and four horses a day. Here at this farm, we have two distinct tracks of eventing and hunter jumper. So as a junior, you have the ability to take, go on the eventing track and or the hunter jumper track. Um, and now we're pretty much a 50-50 on the program. The eventing program has been in existence six years, started in 14. Mm -hmm. One thing that's really unique to our program is uh, we do have a 70 acre cross country course that is available to us here at the university. Some things we would like to do is eventually add a water complex. Um, you have the ability then your junior year, if you so choose, you can ride back and forth between the eventing instructor and the hunter and jumper. Instructor, instructor say for instance, you're having trouble with your stadium jumping, you know, you could take a day, go ride with the other trainers that um, you have the ability to draw from a lot of different knowledge. Um, demonstrations and demo and lectures are done bi-weekly and uh, I lost my train of thought. Well, I'll just jump on the train <laughs> while you're thinking. You know, one of the advantages too in our question department is there's multiple instructors at both farms. So at the English farm, we have Rusty Miller, we have Sue King, Brittany Venninger, Jill Jewett, and these instructors team teach some of these courses so that the students have the ability to have feedback from more than one person during their class time. So when Rusty was just talking about the, you know, having that ability to go from your eventing uh, instructor to the hunter jumper instructor, that can just add to the students experience here and give them more educational opportunities to better themselves as a rider. Then as you move into your senior year, um, generally, most of our seniors have three horses. Uh, they may have a jumper and a hunter. Most of them all then also are riding a green, not quite as many unbrokes as a senior, but they will take a lot of our greens that we have either purchased, purchased for the program or has come in through our send your horse to program um, and then further develop these horses. Um, horses that come in through our send your horse to send your horse to college program, um, range from complete unbrokes to older horses that just people want to learn how to jump. The students are all responsible for all the daily or all the weekly communications with the owner and stuff. And so it gives them a good basis to go out in the industry of how to properly, you know, deal with their clientele. And that send your horse to college program is a really unique part of what we offer here. Like Rusty mentioned, these horses come in <laughs> from the community at varying stages of training. And it gives our students the real world opportunity of progressing that horse and, and having that communi communication with the owner to build those customer relations skills. Um, we also, in addition to the senior horse to college horses, we own close to 80 horses right now at the English farm. And some of these horses are really, really well known. They're beloved by our students. I mean, they're cherished actually in our program because what they can teach our students about feel and about timing and just about riding a high caliber horse, you, you really can't replicate that without having that caliber of horse in that university. Can I talk a little bit about the horse herd? Yes. Maybe? So one thing, like Mary said, what really sets us apart is our horse herd. Our upper level horses are probably second to none of any other university in the country. 
Uh, we have a horse named Billy Diable. He was um, donated to the program for $1.2 million from the Olympic rider, Laura Kraut. We have a horse named here named Continue. He's a five-star international Grand Prix jumper. He has eight FEI five-star wins. Um, we have another horse in the program named Londini. He's won the Young Riders with Lily Keelan. Um, in our eventing string, we have three upper-level horses that Philip Dutton has donated to us. You will probably never ride this nice a horse anywhere. Mm -hmm. When you have this, that is one thing that really sets this program apart. And I also want to bring back, backtrack to your freshman year. You also have the ability, we have a bring your horse to college. And if your horse, um, if you so choose to bring your own horse, you submit a riding video with that horse. We see if it's applicable to the curriculum for that year. The other thing is we've had multiple students that will do a bring your horse to college, especially their sophomore and junior years, and they'll go buy young prospects prospects break them within the program and turn around and sell them we actually had two young ladies that virtually paid for their last two years of college um, buying and selling horses so that's something we highly encourage as a little entrepreneurial mm -hmm. so that's like that's another thing that sets our program apart we have extremely nice horses that can teach you a lot about riding that caliber of horse and we have opportunities for you to train young horses and help develop those horses as well so that you can have skill sets from both very, very important areas when you leave as a graduate of our program. Another thing that we, that is another thing that's unique to our program within our different disciplines, the hunter jumper students have the ability at least one time a semester to go down to the World Equestrian Center and show. So they have the ability to take and ride these high caliber program horses and go show at one of the largest show facilities in the country. Our eventing students go to events um, around the country. Um, and depending if they go to a recognized event, if they're prepared to go to a recognized event, then we also um, provide them with the opportunity to go to some schooling events. We also hold a uh, three-phase schooling event here at the university in the fall and again in the spring. We hold regular, what we call jumper nights. Um, the teams will do Saturday horse shows as fundraisers. So you have lots of different abilities or opportunities to show off your abilities um, throughout the semester. So within our department, as well as our academic programs, we also oversee five different clubs and teams. Um, overall, Western and English, we have the IHSA Huntsy team, we have an IHSA Western team, and combined, our, our IHSA teams have won eight national titles, national championships. We've had many, many individual national champions as well. We have a ranch horse team in the, on the Western half, and then here in our English program, we also have an eventing team, and we have a dressage club. And next year, we're looking at, at reinstating our IDA team, which would be for dressage club riders as well. Another thing that's unique to our opportunities uh, or a unique opportunity, I think, within both programs is that we have the ability to set you up with some internships with some of the best people in the industry. For example, within this farm, we have set interns to Michael Page, Frank Madden, Lisa Goldman, Kent Farrington, David Beisel, Patricia Griffin, just to name a few. So you do have the opportunities to go ride with the greats within the industry. And I think that's kind of related to the fact that our instructors are people that are active professionals in this industry as well. They're cementing those networking and networking <laughs> those relationships with these professionals for our students' benefit. So it's an excellent way to connect our students with some of these leaders in the industry as well. So I want to get on a little bit to our teams. I'll talk about our IHSA team first. Tryouts are generally held within the first two weeks of school from when school starts, we generally have 75 to 80 students try out. You do not have to be a student in the program to try out. If you are a student on campus, you still have the ability to try out. Um, it is pretty competitive. We take 40 to 45 members. Um, the team practices three days a week. We practice at six o'clock in the morning, so there's no conflicts. 
team members are required to work, do three workouts a week. Um, we do several fundraisers. One, we do a couple weekends at Cedar Point. Um, we do some fundraising through uh, fun shows here at the university, uh, raffles and other different things. Um, it is a, um, it is paid for by the university for you to participate. It is a um, no cost to the student. Um, generally the horse shows start for the English team the end of September and then go through uh, zones and nationals in uh, March and April. Then we have the eventing team, which is coached by Sue King. Um, that's an intercollegiate team that competes at USEA recognized events. Um, again, that is also tryouts are held within the first two weeks of school. Um, they again do uh, workouts three days a week. They hold an annual pickup um, or pickup, an annual picnic. Um, they alternate uh, their jump and flat practices just like the IHSA team. It's structured very similar. Um, places that this team does go uh, show is like uh, Flying Cross, Mid-South, Cobblestone, and River Glen to recognize advance. Then students that um, aren't advanced enough to go in a recognized event do go to several schooling shows. And again, like I said, we even host one of those schooling shows here at the university. Um, it is considered a club sport. Um, so there is a, when the students go out and participate, the, their only cost are uh, entries and stalls. The team pays for hotels and travel. Uh, they fundraise, all of our teams and clubs fundraise. Exactly. And then last but not least, we have a dressage club and we are reinstating our IDA team again next fall. They again practice two times a week. Um, fundraise very similar to the uh, other two teams. They also go to outside uh, schooling events and recognized events. Um, they just recently um, hosted what's called a ride a test where the clinician came in and um, people from the outside and students could come in, ride a test, get evaluated by the instructor then go back and rewrite their test a second time. Uh, again, their tryouts are at the same time and then they generally stay in the 35 to 40 and they again will have 50 to 60 kids try out. It's very competitive to get on all these different teams throughout the university. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it we're at the question time, Brandon, if there's any questions that we could take. Yeah, so we do have some questions. Um, is there a way to ride a horse at the university besides majoring in equestrian studies? That would really be limited to people that are on our equestrian teams or clubs. Um, our, our horses are used extensively in our program and are also used for those teams and clubs that we mentioned. There are no other outside riding opportunities at the university other than being in the academic program or being on one of the teams or clubs. All right, so kind of pinballing off of that a little bit. Are students majoring in pre-vet able to be involved with these hunter jumper programs as well, or is a double major required? If a student wanted to be a pre-vet student and try out for the equestrian team, the IHSA hunt seat team, that's certainly possible. And hopefully that student would make a, make a spot on the team. Um, but the only other way a pre-vet student could ride in our equestrian program um, as part of the program on our, on our horses would be if they were double majoring. A lot of pre-vet students, it would be very hard, it is hard for a pre-vet student to double major with equestrian studies in the four-year program, but we do have some pre-vet students that double major with equestrian studies for the associate's degree in equestrian, and that, that can be done in the first two years of the student's time here. That's very doable. Um, there are sometimes opportunities for, from the instructors that offer private lessons for student owned horses. That's not something that's part of our academic program so that doesn't use our horse herd. Um, but there are some situations that do involve, involve private lessons that way. They do have the ability to bring horses to the university dependent on stall availability that they do have the ability to board under um, an instructor at uh, the English farm and bring their horse and ride. 
All right, next question. Do you need to bring your own tack for the program? Yes, <laughs> there's an extensive tack list as well. And that's that's actually, you can find that tack, required tack and equipment list. If you look at the fin at Finley's website and the equestrian pages under freshman info, there is a tab there that talks about um, the equipment and tack that's needed for the program. There's also a list of like the preferred saddle brands and types of stuff, types of different things that they would need to ensure that they buy like a quality. Yeah, because a lot of this equipment you're going to be using for years and years and years after you graduate and you want me to have quality materials. All right, next question. Is there a minimum height requirement or breed requirement for horses being brought by students? Well, actually, Rusty, as director of the English program, accepts the horses for the Bring Your Horse to College part of the program. So I believe the process is you would send a videotape of, your, of you riding your horse um, to Rusty, and he would review that. And what he's looking for is making sure that, that horse can fulfill the requirements of the course you're going to be in. So it's really more, is your horse suit suitable for the requirements of that course more so than breed? But I can let Rusty add to that. Um, and here at the farm, we have um, ponies up to horses that are almost 18 hands. Um, we have some ponies that can canter a line just as effectively as a big horse. So height is not um, necessarily a factor um, when, you know, seeing if your horse is applicable for the program. All right. If, do you guys have any other questions? Doesn't look like we have a ton of questions here. I'll let you think for a second. We do have a few more minutes for our faculty session. So um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit. Um, you guys will be receiving an email at the end of this session. Um, in that email is a tour of the English farm. Um, we also do have a Google form in that email. Um, so you guys can fill that out. We'll send you a t-shirt and some, some stuff. Um, so make sure you fill that out, um, but it doesn't look like we have any other questions coming through. So I guess we'll move on to our student panel. Um, thank you, Rusty and Mary for spending some time chatting with everybody. Um, and they'd love to chat with you guys in person too when you guys come for your on-campus visit. So thank you. All right, and then we will bring in Alexis Helhoski and Peyton McClintock to talk to you about what life as an English equestrian student is, and they're here to answer your questions. So uh, we'll start with Alexis. And Alexis, if you could just introduce yourself, say where you're from, what your major is, um, you know, just give them a brief overview. Hi, I'm Alexis Elhoski. I'm a senior. Um, I'm from Long Island, New York, and I major in English equestrian studies and business management. And I'm Peyton, I'm also a senior. I major in English Equestrian Studies and Equine Business Management, and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Very cool, so um, now's your chance to ask these students your questions about what it's like to be in the program. I'll start with a couple of questions. Um, so Alexis, who's your favorite horse at the English Farm? My favorite horse is uh, the horse I had sophomore year, his name is Finn. He's super cool and he gave me a lot of opportunities. I got to take him to two horse shows through the university and he was the first horse I ever got to show him the three foot and he took such good care of me and it was such a great learning experience. All right, and Peyton, who's your favorite my, horse? My favorite horse is a horse I had last year. His name is Waffle. Um, before coming to the university, I had really only done the hunters and equitation, and he was my first true jumper horse, and he taught me a lot, and I gained a lot of confidence with him in riding a type of horse that I had never ridden before. Very cool. So are you guys on teams, and how is it being on a team if you're on one of the teams? We are both actually captains of the I to say hunt seat team at the English farm. And what I can say for myself is that it's my favorite part of school. Um, we're really close knit with our team and it's like a little family. And I just, it's a highlight of my year every year. 
I would definitely second that. I think showing is fun, practicing is fun, but the girls on the team, we have the most fun like on the van rides to shows and at our team bonding nights. And it's a great experience and a great way to get to know more people. Great, so we do have a question that just came in. So how are you guys assigned horses? So our freshman year, we send in videos over the summer so they can get a general feeling for how you ride and what type of riding you do and how advanced you are. And we'll assign off that. Every semester going forward, it is basically how you did at the end of the last semester, where you're at, where the horses are at. And you can request horses as well. So if you really think this horse is going to do something great for you or like you really just want to try riding a different type of horse, then you can request one. Yeah, I definitely, um, last semester when I had Waffle, I had kind of spoken with the instructors beforehand saying, you know, I really want a jumper horse. I want to try something different, learn something new. And they worked with me to find a horse that would be a good introduction for me into more of a jumper type ride. All right, so what made you guys choose UF over another equestrian program? Being able to ride every day. <laughs> you can't do that at any other school in the country. And definitely the quality of horse is higher than the other schools that I toured. And that was what sold me. Yeah, same for me. The, the amount of saddle time you really aren't going to find anywhere else. And um, just being able to ride not only your assigned horse five days a week, but if you're on any of the teams, that's additional horses and different types of rides. And you're just not going to get that variety and experience anywhere else. All right, we got a question here. Are there any boys on the team? Yes, I think we have four or five this year on the team. And there's three or four in the program as well. So there's a little bit of variety. All right, what is your favorite spot to eat in Finley? Ooh. That's a tough one. I really like um, Logan's Irish Pub downtown. They have really good food um, and it's not too expensive. So I like to go there a lot. Uh, we've also recently been going to Alexandria's for trivia on Mondays and Thursdays. And that's been so much fun just doing trivia, but they have these really good pretzel bites too. So. <laughs> All right, another question. What's your favorite horse show experience that you've had at the University of Finley showing University of Finley horses? Um, my sophomore year, we went to ANRC in Virginia and that was so much fun and a great experience. ANRC is a competition outside of IHSA, but it's all colleges. So there's three people to a team and you compete directly against the other top colleges. And we had a lot of fun competing against schools that we're outside of our region and zone and being able to ride our own horses and not a catch ride. We had a really great time. Um, my freshman year, I traveled with a small group of IHSA riders to um, SCAD in Georgia to do a IHSA tournament of champions there. And so we weren't on our own horses, but we went with a little group and it was so much fun and to see a different venue and um, that was a pretty long car ride to get to know everybody else, but uh, we had a lot of fun and that was definitely one of my favorite show moments. So have you guys had internships during your time here at UF? And tell me about those experiences. So I um, have been working over the summers for a barn that is outside of Columbus um, that I found after my freshman year here at the university. And since working there, um, I've worked with several Finley alum actually, and uh, I plan on going to work there full time after graduation in the spring. I got an internship in Los Angeles, California through, um, she was a senior when I was a freshman for Balmoral Farm, which is owned by Carlton Brooks, who's in the Hunter Horse Show Hall of Fame. And I've been working there the last two summers and I'm going back after graduation as well. 
Great. So run me through a day in the life as a freshman. So what are they looking at like from the time they wake up to the time they leave the barn in the afternoon? What are they looking at? So freshman year, you're going to have a lot of your like gen ed, like a lot of your on campus classes that you just have to get done as a requirement. So um, if you're on the IHSA team, we have morning practices. So you'll be up early if you're on the team for practice and then head back to campus to have whatever classes you might have on campus. That could be like an English 106 class or a math class, um, or depending on what your major is, you know, that'll vary. And then freshman time at the barn starts at two o'clock and you'll have about 30 minutes of uh, classroom setting lecture time where you'll be learning like some practical skills in the barn or watching instructional videos or something like that. And then from 2.30 to 5.30, you have your lesson time where you ride your assigned horse. Um, you'll have a chore that you have to complete and you'll have to clean your horse's stall and turn them out. And then after that, uh, I know when I was a freshman, we would all go to Henderson Dining Hall and eat dinner together at the end of the night. And um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for that thorough explanation, Payne, that was perfect. Um, so are you guys part of any clubs or organizations on campus? And do you feel that, you know, there is a large presence of clubs and organizations on campus? I'm personally not a part of any clubs, but a lot of my friends are, and there's definitely plenty to choose from. And I know they're all very involved. There's always an event going on on campus. And I would encourage people to join clubs. It's something I wish that I had done. I personally am not in any outside clubs either, but um, like Alexa said, there's always something going on. I've gone and joined in on um, activities that are held at like the business building or the alumni memorial union and had fun there. But um, yeah, the, the barn is definitely takes up a lot of time, but I love being there. I, I'm always at the barn. All right, so how has COVID-19 impacted your learning at Finley? Um, are you still getting hands-on experience? Are you still in the barn every day? Um, since you guys know what it was like here pre-COVID, how does that, how has Finley done that preparing and delivering their material to you guys? So for on-campus classes, um, most of my classes have gone hybrid. So that means that I am in class once or twice a week and then online the other times. It hasn't impacted how much I've learned or anything like that. The learning quality is still the same. The teachers have done a really good job trying to make it feel like you're in the classroom and they interact with us while we're on Zoom as well. And the barn is basically the same with masks, I'll say. We just social distance now and we wear masks, but the learning hasn't been impacted whatsoever. All right. So what are your personal thoughts on the horse herd at Finley? What do you what do you think of the quality of horses here? There is definitely something for everybody. There are, you know, you have the nice horses that can jump the big jumps and can teach you all. They have all the buttons that you can learn. And then there are the horses that are a lot simpler that maybe can teach you something as simple as how to ride a simple lead change well. Um, so there really is, no matter what level you're at, there is a horse there that can teach you something. And um, even if you are capable of riding the horses. The horses that can um, do, just get you around and make you focus on yourself a little bit more. Very good. Um, so, okay. How's that, like, have you guys ever struggled with being a double major? Like, tell me about being a double major. Uh, what's your, what is your course load like? Is there tutoring available? Um, so definitely the regular business was a bit of a struggle at first. Um, I just had to get a better work ethic, <laughs> but it was, you have to take 18 credit hours every semester if you are a regular business major but it's worth it personally. I struggled in my accounting class, but the tutoring center was available to me and I was able to pull through with a pretty decent grade. 
it's definitely worth it, I think, to have the two degrees. Yeah, I um, I am the equine business management is my second major, so it does blend a little bit better with the English equestrian studies, but it definitely requires a lot of time management and understanding that it's okay to be at the bar and have fun, but at some point you got to go home and do homework too. All right, so how many freshmen are in the class at the English equestrian program? How many freshmen do we have at the barn? Currently, I think we have 36 of them, I believe. Sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. And High what are the 30. instructors like? Do you enjoy working with them? What's your, what are your thoughts on the, the faculty and the teaching here? I really enjoy all of the, like the teachers we have. Like Brittany is fantastic. She came in recently. I've learned a lot with her, and I think my riding is definitely the strongest it's been since she came in. Jill is our freshman instructor. We worked with her a bit. She's fantastic. She cares so much about educating and making sure everybody's having a good time. And Sue King, who does our eventing program, is super passionate about what she does. And she does such a good job with all of the eventers. Everyone's really super fantastic. No complaints. I agree. <laughs> All right. So what if I don't have any riding experience? Where do I fit in in the program? So one of our close friends actually had no riding experience prior to coming in. And she's a senior this year. And she has one of the nicest horses in the barn. And she's jumping around full courses. She really just put a lot of work in. And we like to say here that it all depends on how much work that you're willing to put in. But we have so many fantastic courses that can take you from literally never having sat on a horse before to jumping around full courses at finals. That's awesome. So do we have any other questions for these, these ladies today? Um, I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with us for a little while and answering these questions. Um, you're, you're both superstars, so thank you. Um, and if you guys think of other questions in the future, you can always reach out to me. Um, and I can even reach out to Alexis and Peyton if you have more student related questions. So that's always an option. Um, like I've said a few times in this, please schedule an on-campus visit. Um, Alexis gives barn tours. So um, she will be your tour guide when you come out. So um, you'll actually be able to spend an hour with her and pick her brain, which is cool. Um, oh, we do have another question. Look at that. Ooh. So do you have to pay for laundry? No, it's the best part of Finley. <laughs> not at the barn and not on campus. <laughs> yeah, so we do have, we have laundry facilities at the barn because we don't want you washing your horse stuff on campus. You can wash your clothes, but you know, horse blankets, saddle pads, polo wraps, those all go in the barn laundry. Um, but good question. What about, I have a question, one more question that you guys can answer. Um, you know, what's the, the situation of getting to the barns? Do you have your car? Do you take the shuttle? How does that work? Uh, so I personally have my car. I've had my car here all four years. Um, it's super easy at the beginning of the year, you get a free little parking pass that you just put on your, on your back of your car and um, you can park in any of the student spots on campus. But there is also a shuttle service in case you don't have a car like available to you. And they go to and from the barns, both barns and campus several times a day. So uh, it's super easy to get where you need to go even if you don't have a car. Also, I will say our freshman and sophomore year, a lot of us carpooled so to cut down on gas money and for our friends who didn't have a car. So that's an option as well. Um, another question that we have, um, how was it living in the residence halls and living on campus? And do you still live on campus? It was so much fun. I lived in Bear Hall my freshman year. I met a lot of my friends who I'm still friends with now. And we honestly had such a blast. Um, I lived on campus all four years. I'm in a cottage right now, which is like a small apartment with a kitchen and a bathroom. I personally like living on campus. It's a very safe town, but I like having furniture provided to me. 
Me too. I've chosen to stay on campus all four years. And like Alexa said, a lot of the people that I met in my freshman year dorm, I'm still friends with and I still keep up with today. So I really enjoyed the experience. That's great. Well, thank you guys. Um, I, if there's no other questions. I think that we're good to close out of here. Um, but, you know, make sure again, schedule your private visit. I can't say it en enough times because we really want you to come and visit. We want to show you around. Um, make sure you check your email and um, you guys can watch the video of the English farm tour as well as the tour of the Western farm and the animal science um, facility. So jump on there, make sure you fill out the form for your t-shirt. We're gonna send you some Finley swag. So, um, you know, just like you would get if you were coming on a real visit, um, we might even have a couple extra goodies in there for you. So uh, make sure you're checking your mailbox. Um, oh, all right. And we got one more question. We have time. So I'm going to have you guys answer it. Um, is there a specific dorm for the equestrian program? No, there is no specific dorm. But um, before you come in as a freshman, you'll fill out a little questionnaire, um, like what your sleeping habits are, if you're like a cleaner person, or if you're a little messy. And you know, like your personality type so they can match you with somebody that you know you're going to get along with and a lot of times you'll end up either with another equestrian student even if they're at the western farm or a pre-vet student so that way you're not scaring anybody away with dirty boots or horse hair or anything like that um i will also say you spend a lot of time with the people in the equestrian program so i had a western person as my roommate my first two years and I was really thankful for that to just go home and have someone different to talk to that I hadn't spent all day with. Absolutely. So, how's that? Uh, so what's what do you think the percentage is on campus between you know animal people and regular people? Oh there's so many animal people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll walk down like the aisles of the dorms and you'll see everyone's boots outside their doors. It's pretty funny, but everyone's pretty understanding that, you know, the equine students kind of rule the roost and uh, everyone gets it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys. And thank you all for coming um, to this, this virtual day. Um, we'll, we'll see you on campus soon. I'm not gonna say if we see you on campus soon, when we see you on campus soon, We'll make sure that we show you around and give you a great in-person experience. So stay healthy, stay safe, um, and thank you for coming.